Welcome to Desquote. Let's first go through the basics. The customer form holds all your customers. The suppliers form hold all your suppliers. The quotation form is where you would enter all your quotation details, which would then be automatically transformed over to your invoice. The purchase form is where you would raise your purchase orders. The orders form is where you would ha keep all your orders pending, all your orders received, your orders that are awaiting dispatch, awaiting invoice, awaiting payment and so on. On each form there is an edit button. The edit button is normally the, the pencil. If I click on the edit form, the actual form opens up for edit. Now the made by drop down box, the, the names that appear here are collected from the employees form. If we open the employees form, you can see that my name, Andrew Pringle, has been entered. You would first enter all your employees into this form. The contact form gets all the contacts from your customers. So Desquote Professional is the customer. The contact that works for Desquote Professional is Andy Pringle. If we go back to the customer form, if we navigate down to this little man this little man is the contacts, the, uh, the contacts that work for Desco Professional. So we work, as you can see, Andy Pringle. If I was to edit the form and change this to Jason Bowen, close this form. If I navigate back to the quotation form, Click the edit button, click on the arrow to drop down. As you can see, the name has changed to Jason Bowen. So the made by the employees come from your employees form. The contacts come from customer contact form. This tutorial will guide you through some of the basics. For some of the advanced features, um, there will be other tutorials. So let's start by creating a new quotation. First, we shall enter a new customer. The new button is the folder with the green cross. I will click. Enter a new customer. We will leave the address for now. Enter quotation. Click on the new button. New customer. The made in the new customer form. If we navigate back to the new customer form, click on the employees. Uh, actually, uh, sorry, the contacts that work for this new customer. Click the new button. I've entered the new test contact. Close. Back to the quotation form. Edit. Made by me, the test customer, the test cost contact. Title, test, quotation, copy, test quotation. My estimated delivery, one day. Each inquiry gets a job status. 
the default job status for any new inquiry is awaiting customer response. There are a few default statuses already entered. Now this part of the form holds all your products. Now currently you have no products entered into the database. So if we click on this little icon here, this will open your products form. You can start entering all your products into this form. If we enter uh, a test product, you can actually right click on the image and load a product image for the product. When you're done, click the done button. Click on the edit. The product is now uh, appears in the, the drop down box. You can add a, a selling price or you can actually go back to your products form, look for your test product number two and you can actually put your cost price in or your selling price. Click the done button. If you reselect as you can see, the actual cost price appears and the selling price appears. Now, uh, to add an image onto your quotation, right click, load, you can now preview your quotation. Uh, preview your quotation, you can actually click on the, uh, the magnifying glass here. This is the quotation selection form. Now, each quotation either has a personal cover that you can actually edit, or it has a default quotation cover. To preview the quotation, you click on the, the magnifying glass. Due to uh, quotation cover, the, the report has two pages. So this is the quotation cover. If we, use, uh, if we scroll down to page two, you can now see your quotation. Now, currently, the logo is Descode Professional. The company name, the address, the telephone number, the motto, all these details can be modified in the company form. So we shall close the, the report quotation. If we navigate now down to the company form, you can see that all the company motto and all the company name, address, uh, all this can be actually edited with uh, your details. If we scroll down to this little icon here, you can then right click on the image and load your logo. Descote also includes a, a report designer. Uh, if you click on this icon here, this will open the report designer. Uh, the report designer is useful if you need to personalize some of the titles, you know, for, for instance, instead of quotation, you may want to, you may want to call your quote inquiry. Uh, you can, any of these titles, you can actually change or delete 
if uh, if you uh, if you don't require any of them. We'll navigate to the quotation. We'll preview the quotation. You can now see that the quotation is now called inquiry. Now, as mentioned earlier, the job status has defaulted to awaiting customer response. If your customer telephones uh, accepting your quotation, you can now change the job status to purchase order received. You have a warning asking whether you're sure you want to change the job status. You can then enter in, click the edit, the purchase order number. Now after changing the job status to purchase order received, this inquiry has now moved to your orders form. We click the orders form, you can see purchase order received, we have uh, this inquiry, new customer, test quotation we created earlier. By clicking on the job title, you can move the status over to parts ordered. Now moving your status over to parts ordered will automatically print you a job sheet, a worksheet. As you can see, it asks whether you want to print a job sheet. We will say no for now. Now it's moved the, the uh, status from purchase order received to pass ordered. We click on the job title. We move the inquiry over to await and dispatch. We can click on the job title again. We can now print or preview a delivery note. Now by printing the delivery note, the status will automatically change to awaiting invoice. The job is now moved into the waiting invoice. We can now print the invoice. First of all, we will allocate a new invoice number. We will apply an invoice date. And then we will print the invoice. Now throughout Escort, you have the direct email box. Now if you add in the customer's email address here, you can directly email your quotation or your invoice or your purchase orders. We'll click the edit to open the form up for editing. We will apply the customer email address. Then we will click the email button. Now Desquote automatically converts the email to PDF and attaches it with the email address already for you. The same applies to the invoice. As you can see the customer email address has already been entered in the quotation form and it has moved over to the invoice form. Click the little email icon. As you can see, the invoice is ready to be sent to your customer. So mainly then, Desquote is used to keep all your customers in the customer address book. 
your suppliers in your suppliers address book. You can actually make quotations very easily. It will keep all your products in one place, your cost price and your selling price. You can easily create invoices. You can keep all your orders in in a list, everything that is pending, everything that items have been ordered on and you're not quite ready to dispatch the items yet. All the items that are waiting dispatched, awaiting invoice. It notifies you all the items that have are awaiting payment and it gives you a full list of all your total orders. Thanks for watching this uh, small tuition on how to use Deskquote. Uh, look out for some more tuitions. Uh, the next set of tuitions will concentrate mainly on each form one at a time, fully illustrating all the functions within each form. Thanks and see you later.